they found was that vitamin D supplementation offers a statistically significant reduction in number of patients having at least one respiratory infection. Vitamin D resulted in statistically significant reduction in acute respiratory infection rate. Vitamin D offered a strong protective effect for those with baseline uh, vitamin D levels serum less than 10 nanograms per ml. If you live above the 37th parallel in the winter, you don't make any vitamin D. So you have to, our relatives, you have to tell them to supplement. So who are our patients at risk of vitamin D deficiency? African Americans, they have more melanin in the skin, so they absorb less UVB radiation and they don't make as much vitamin D per unit of time they're out in the sun. Obesity. I guarantee you every man in this room, if I check your blood level for vitamin D right now, if you're not on it, you're deficient. Because a lot of the problems linked to vitamin D deficiency are rampant in the African American population. Hypertension, diabetes, uh, overweight, obesity, uh, and just even vitamin D deficiency itself, again, is in two-thirds of the free-living U.S. population who are black. Cases. Mm -hmm. And just before you run off, Nigeria reported our first case, you know, 27, 28 of, of the month. We still only have 65 cases I know you're in gonna... Africa, so we need to look at and what, what is happening in Africa. As of last night, Africa has 2,700 cases. But here's why we should be bothered. There are only about five countries that account for half of these cases. South Africa, 709 cases, tops the number of cases in Africa. Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia. Now, these are the five countries that account for half of the 2,700 cases we have in, in Africa. But here's what we need to see. Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia. These are countries in northern Africa. So we see a lot of the virus concentrated in northern Africa, not so much concentration of the virus in in southern, the southern region of Africa. Today, we've seen the updated numbers, 65 cases in Nigeria, but we need to look at the fatality rates. And if we look at 5,000 cases, we see that country, some countries have seen a lot of concentration of this virus. China, Italy, USA, among the countries that have seen over 5,000 5, cases. In all, we've seen that there's no African country that is concentrated with those 5,000 cases that have been reported by the World Health Organization. We indeed hope that these cases will reduce and the mm. number of deaths from these cases will also end. And this is the, the countries with the lowest fatality rate? So there's some hope. South mm. Africa, 709 cases, no single fatality. Russia, Qatar, Armenia, over 500 cases, no fatality. So Nigeria shouldn't be concerned because the evidence from the World Health Organization shows that there's a 96% chance that even if you do get the virus, you have a 96% chance of survival. When, when, when the CDC makes recommendations like a boy the sun between the hours of 10 a.m., these are actually great recommendations. But they're not for us. But they're not for us. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't fault them for looking out for them, but we have to stop believing and looking out for us. I checked my blood level. Normal blood level should be between 35 and 50. My blood level was 9. Mm. The bottom line is, what should you do, guys? You should have your blood levels checked. Now, if you're taking a multivitamin tablet a day, how much vitamin D is in there? It's about 400 international units. The average African American needs three to five thousand international units per day. It is very difficult to overdose on vitamin D, by the way. I take five thousand a day. Five thousand international units a day. Okay, so what you're getting in a multivitamin is not enough. I think this, this research has implications beyond the African American community, but uh, it is most specifically, uh, the findings I've been talking about are most specifically linked to the black community, but vitamin D deficiency is fairly uh, prevalent uh, even in, in non-African Americans in the United because States. Because the recommendations that is helping them stay relatively cancer free is killing us. It's not like it's just like, oh well, we're, it's not like a, you know, uh, we're just not being helped. No, we're being hurt by these recommendations and they know it. They publish the journals that tell them that it's killing us, but their, pri their primary population concern is the white population, and for the white population, these are great recommendations. It's just not for us, and we need to always be aware. You're not getting enough sun. You've got to have at least two hours of sunlight to stimulate the melanin.